While Android's Lollipop became the most popular of them all, you may have missed the messaging app that could be cool, the 3D game for flesh or graphene aerogel, and making music with eye tracking. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where I'm pretty sure this is how I'd conduct an orchestra. If you are of a much more appreciative bent, hang around. Designer Andreas Riefskar DIY'd a way for people with mobility impairments to become the creative conductors they are in their hearts. Built from an off-the-shelf eye tracker and some clever coding, the accessible interface lets users control beats, bass, and other instruments. They just need to use simple eye movements, facial expressions, and have the willingness to abandon comfort zones. I would have no problem with that. Today in Guess Which One's Gonna Be Skin, we give you two 3D printed things. A team from Harvard's Weiss Institute made 3D bioprinted living tissue with 10 times the blood vessel density. And in case you're wondering, bioprinted is the new hotness. This means printed tissues can be printed thicker, survive longer, and work more like the real thing. And then, almost twinsies, a team from New York and Kansas figured out how to print the world's lightest material, graphene aerogel. They did so by freeze drying 2D sheets and stacking them to create a structure instead of extruding it per the normal method that we also get toothpaste with. This seems better. And in an app we might actually keep using post-download, we give you Cola, a messaging app that sends polls, location, cal invites, and more, all within the message. So rather than the annoying back and forth that can happen in threads about who is available when and why not, Becca, it simplifies the whole thing with a poll. Too much? Then just know it's like if Uber and Meetup had a baby named WhatsApp that then pulled the APIs of other apps, probably also including Facebook messaging because that's mandatory, am I right? but maybe also flight location updates too, then sync with your Google Calendar to automatically update tiles that are like apps within a message because goddamn it, texting is too annoying sometimes. You get that, right? Finally, if you too long for the legendary MTV Beach House of 1993, chilling at the beach house, all that, we have just the speaker the size of a small child to bring it all back for you. It may be wildly inconvenient to handle, and if the Kickstarter video is any indication, marketed exclusively towards the worst people in the world. But sadly, sex sells, cause the speaker box has more than quadrupled its Kickstarter goal with more than 20 days left. Thanks for nothing, Kickstarter.